Police, open the door! A Fort Worth police officer arrived to these apartments Monday, soon after a woman called 911 and told dispatchers she was trying to kill herself and was bleeding out. When the officer entered, she initially tried to talk to Caitlin Belogan, but Belogan picked up a knife on the floor. She clearly appears distressed. No, I don't want to shoot you. Chief Neil Noakes says the officer responded to the scene as if the caller was injured and near death. But as Belogan approached the doorway with the knife, the officer backed into balcony railing. That didn't give the policewoman space to retreat further. Uh, time and distance are a friend in a situation like that. Given the fact that this, this was a small landing on the second floor, there really weren't many options. The officer shot Belogan in the hip. The woman survived and left the hospital later that night. Police now charge the 20-year-old who repeatedly begged to be shot with aggravated assault against a public servant. That is one of the most difficult situations an officer can find themselves in. Fort Worth PD has a crisis intervention team trained for this kind of situation. They weren't working that night, though the officer has de-escalation training. We're constantly dealing with it and hoping that we have that positive outcome. Dallas PD Assistant Chief Albert Martinez says these days about one out of every three to five calls are mental health related. They send special units, including an officer, paramedic, and social worker to such scenes. In Fort Worth, Noakes said he is lobbying city leaders to ensure crisis intervention teams are available 24-7. But it's hard to say whether their approach would have been different here, since police believed Belogan was already badly hurt. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston.